Hi all and welcome to Southern Cross Amateur Astro where we continue our Astro pre-install series by looking at plate solving software. Plate solving has become an important part of astrophotography and is now being used for things like polar alignment, uh, removing the need to do star alignment routines, getting on target, really centering it for you and for automatic meridian flips where it'll do a plate solve before the flip, do the flip and then plate solve to get you right back on target again afterwards. Today we'll be looking at four different ones that are quite commonly used. Uh, you don't need to install all four, you can install one or two, though I do recommend at least two, but they're all pretty common and it's up to you what you use. Now this is going to be a fairly long uh, video as it is, so I think we better get right into it. So we're going to start this off with the simplest to install of all the programs we're doing today, which is the Astrometric Stacking Program. This is uh, also known as ASTAP and it is quite popular and should be worked with pretty much all your imaging software. So if you follow the link in the description that will take you over to the ASTAP website. Once there you need to download two files. The first is the main program which I've got here on the left in the red square. And then you need to decide which of the databases you're going to download. Now the names of the databases are based on how many stars they have per square degree. So the DO5 which is the smallest has about 500 stars per square degree. While the larger D80 has about 8000 stars. Um, Simply the longer your focal length is, the more stars you need per degree to be able to plate solve. Now for most people the D50 which has 5000 uh, will do the job generally, um, but if you do get into longer focal lengths or using smaller sensors with long focal lengths then you may want to get the D80. Uh, the D50 is a bit over 800 megabytes and the D80 is a bit over 1.1 gigabytes so it's up to you. But D50 will be fine for most people and once you get it all you need to do is go to where you downloaded the file in my case I just got it on my desktop here uh, just double click on the setup program and away it goes yes I want it to make changes just install it in the uh, default directory I'll create a shortcut on the desktop simply because um, I use it for stacking as well it's quite a good stacking program if you know how to use it I don't want to launch it yet because I'm not doing anything with it. As you see, a very fast install of that. The database will be a bit slower. And today I'm going to be installing the D80 database uh, because I, I have some longer focal length stuff I work with, so that works for me. But as I said, the D50 is quite good. Now just double click on that. This is going to be a bit longer to install this, and I might pause the video while it happens. And as long as you've installed uh, as tap in the default directory there's not really much you do except click the button and saying next so it's taking a little bit of time this computer's a bit slow so it takes a bit of time to load up because it's a large file do 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 elevate the music anyone it's taking longer than I expected okay there she blows and all you do is click next and install. I'll just pause the video here and come back when it's almost done. Okay, it's getting close to the end and really that's all you need to do with ASTAP to get it working as a plate solver. You just need to set it up to link with your imaging software and it's done, which is what makes it so simple. Um, just click finish and it's all done. You don't need to do anything else. Okay, next we'll move on to Plate Solve 2, which is a little bit more complicated to get up and running. So simply follow the link in the description to take you to the PlaneWave website where you can get Plate Solve 2, and you'll actually have to make three downloads here. The first one is the main program. Uh, if you click on the attached files, it'll give you a link for Plate Solve 2, and simply download that. Then you'll need to follow the next link in the description, which will take you to the download for the APM catalog, and download that one as well. And once you've done that, follow the next link and it will take you to the next catalogue you need to download. Now I have to give you all these links because they used to have it on the program on the program download that have the catalogues underneath you could go to from there, but they no longer do that so I had to get you direct links. And once you've downloaded all three of them, then it's the same as before. 
where you go to wherever you've downloaded the files now as I said this one's a bit more complicated the plate solve program is actually a zip file so double click on that to open it now it has no default location to install to uh, so all I've done is I've created a directory a folder on my local drive called Astro Tools and I'm just going to drag and drop the plate solve folder into that directory so it's there now and that's that part done um, so you can close that down APM catalog is next just double click on that uh, it takes a few seconds it's not the fastest of, of installs but it's not the slowest either yes I want you to next now you need to select where you've installed it to so I just browse I don't want program files I want Astro Tools Plate Solve 2.8 and click OK and then next and install uh, this will take a couple of minutes um, I think I'll pause and come back when it's almost done okay we're almost there now just wait for this to finish and that'll be that catalog installed um, once you get these two catalogs installed we need to go and configure them so we'll get to there in a minute and it's done so finish and again the next catalog it is also a zip file uh, and again what you need to do there is just go to the folder you in the directory you installed it to and simply drag and drop it into the directory um, and this won't be too long uh, so I won't close out of it yet I'll let it run and that'll be your two catalogs installed but as I said then we need to actually configure them um, as said, it doesn't put a uh, shortcut on your desktop you need to go into it and run, run the exec file so plate solve 2 just double click on that and once it launches what you need to do is to configure the directories so you go to file configure catalog directories now if you install them just as I did then they'll be in the right location and you'll get status OK if you've somehow managed to put them somewhere else then you need to go select directory and browse to where it is but as mine are all done it's all configured and that's it for plate solve 2 nothing else to do there um, next I think we'll move on to plate solve 3 now with plate solve 3 there's no website to go to or anything the link in the description will take you straight to the download and this is because while this is created by plain wave software it is not on their website simply because their standalone plate solve 3 doesn't work as a plate solver and uh, you need to download this version which was especially created to work as a plate solver with your software so just be warned it is quite a large download at well over five gigabytes so you may not want to get this one but it is a fast one and it does work well so once you've downloaded it like last time simply go to wherever you downloaded on your desktop and double click on the file and that's what it is and that's what you get um, this one you need to create its own directory for it because it doesn't come in a nice little directory inside its zip file so you, what you can do is simply go to where you want to put it I'm going to Astro Tools and I'm just going to create a new directory a new folder called Plate Solve 3.8 it is so Plate my elite typing skills 3.80 that's done so then what you want to do is go back to it uh, select it from here control A to select them all and just drag and drop them all into that newly created folder the other way you can do it is simply use the extract all button up here where you create the folder as you go along now this is going to take a little bit of time as I said it's almost five and a half gigabytes so I'll come back when it's almost done okay almost done here at last now plate soul 3 has given a lot of people problems with getting it set up and configured and working so I'll run through what I've done and it's worked every time for me uh, if you follow these instructions hopefully it will work for you so simply go to the folder where you've installed it and what you need to do is either rename or delete 
the the config file. Um, there's something in there. I've I've had a look through it. There's some settings that are obviously done as a private settings for whoever created the program, and it's uh, doesn't work for everyone, of course. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete it. Don't worry about deleting it. The first time you run it and close it, it will create a new config. So I'm just going to delete this and get it out of the way. Next, you need to run the executable to launch it. Um, you'll get this the first time you see it. You know, more info and run anyway. Okay, now you need to set up your catalogs which are included in the download. So you go to browse uh, to wherever you installed the program. Astro Tools, Plate Solve 3 for out. Now the first catalog is the Kepler catalog. Click on, uh, on it and OK. Now for some strange reasons it closes it. So you need to go back into it again, uh, configure directory, and again, browse to that folder again. Do, do, do. It's just being a pain. Uh, and this time you want the UD catalog. So you click OK. And you'll have status OK there, and it's all good. So that's that's set up and done. So you can close that. And now Plate Solve 3, once you configure it in your software, will hopefully work so next up we're going to move across to uh, what is it ah uh, yes all sky plate solver now this isn't a bad plate solver at all but it is the most frustrating and annoying to in to install and configure simply because of the way you need to get the star databases for it to work but anyway we'll get into it and simply follow the link in the description to take you to the asps website which looks just like this now I'm doing this live download this will be the only one I'll be downloading live simply because I want to show you a couple of things as we go uh, for for all sky plate solver scroll right down to the bottom and in the red box down here you'll see the download so click on download and you'll notice file not downloaded uh, potential security risk so you, what you need to do is go show more information and allow download but it's up to you if you're concerned about a security risk well then don't download it as simple as that so I'm going to download it um, I've had it on my computer for a number of years without any problems so it's downloading now it's not a long download so simply once it's downloaded you can either go to where it is or I'm just going to open it through here it's a lovely name file called install exec which tells you a lot yes I want to install it English I'm just going to install it in default default location. Uh, next, I'll create a, a desktop shortcut. Can or you don't. I don't actually go straight into these most of the time. And registering files. That's all nice and simple. Uh, it's. I'm going to get this down. It's the next part that becomes the problem. Okay. So I just click finish and, and let it run. It'll tell you you have no indexes installed. Do I want to download them? You can go yes, and this is where the fun starts. On the left here, you'll see a list of indexes for various focal lengths or various fields of views. And what you need to do is for every telescope you have, you have to do this. For every sensor you have, you have to do it, and every combination. So I'm going to start with just a, a fairly wide field one because that's the easiest to download. I use a Canon uh, 300mm f4 lens, so I'll go 300mm and I will put my widest sensor. So this will be a full frame sensor. Uh, this is my Canon 6D, which is about 35 by 25. Or 30, yeah, 24 actually, but yeah, I better do 24. Get it right. Okay, and you need to click over in the other box for it to change. And there it'll give you a list of the files that you need to download for that particular focal length. So you just go install them, it'll confirm, and now it'll download and install it. But like I said, the problem with this, you've got to do it with every combination you're using. And when you get into some of these other ones, they are extremely slow downloads and it takes forever. And the worst part is when you get to long focal lengths, it's a case of, oh my God, 
Um, I'll show you in a second. I occasionally use my planetary camera, which has a tiny sensor, um, and uh, use it for capturing a planetary nebula or something, something small. Okay, that's completed. So I sometimes stick it on my six six inch uh, f8 scope. Uh, I generally have a uh, reducer on it, so it comes in at 960 mil. Okay. But I've got a tiny sensor on this. It's what is the sensor size? It's about five by three. Now it doesn't let you put decimals in here, so don't bother trying with that. So, say a five by three. It's nipped up there, and bingo! I've got to get all these ones at the top. And if you add all that up, it's well over twenty gigabytes of download. Um, I don't think I've ever actually installed the whole lot for this. But that's one reason I don't use it very much. It's up to you what you get. If you're using uh, longer focal lengths, it's not really an issue. It's only when you're using, um, sorry, if you're using shorter focal lengths, it's not an issue. It's only when you start getting up of it, up a bit. So my normal one is uh, 560. That's my uh, 102 millimetre f7 with a reducer on it, and I generally use 19 by 13 and it'll tell me what I need to install and there you go there's a couple of hundred megabytes there so you just click on install again and it goes the good news is once you've downloaded the files it doesn't re-download them for the other focal lengths but as I said you've got to go through and do this with every combination of camera on uh, camera and lens or telescope you have um, you have to allow and factor in any reducers you have or if you happen to use a barlow at the time you've got to include that in it um, if you use a region of interest uh, you say you might use half field half your sense of region of interest then you've got to do it adjust the sensor size for the same thing and it's like i said it can be a very long and complicated install but as you can see, this is a slow download. I mean, this first one's only a total of 116 megabytes. Um, that should have been done in seconds, really. But it's taking a while. So I'm just going to let this run through. Um, that's it for plate solving software. I'll just let this go and I'll let you people go. You don't need to do anything else. Once it's done, you just close it down and, and you've, you're finished. And it's up to you whether you want to go through and download all the ones you need. But that's it for now. Um, next one, I think I'll install PH2T2 guiding. So if you want to come back and see that set up and configured, more than welcome. That'll be out shortly. Other than that, I wish everyone clear skies and take care. See you all later.